This is a bar of chocolate. There is a singular bar of chocolate within this big box that has this piece of tape with a bit of foil underneath it. Let's have a look. So we open it up like so, or rather like so. Haha, <laughs> I made a mistake. Silly me. You suck. So watch, you open up the box and what's in the box? But some fucking stuff. Wow, it's movie magic, except it's the opposite of it, because it's not magic, because it's it, I already opened this before. Basically, there was a bubble wrap, and inside that bubble wrap was some cooling packaging, and inside that cooling packaging, was the bar of chocolate. So it's like, they package it well. Which is good because I paid 5 euro for the bar and 5 euro for the shipping. But the reason I paid this much was because I didn't have to pay at all because I had a 10 euro voucher. Unfortunately they didn't apply my voucher initially and I had to tell them that uh, I had a voucher after I bought the thing. Even though I put in my voucher when I bought the thing. But they did refund me so at least they're not unreasonable assholes about it. So what is it? What do we got? We got the butlers. Almond salted butterscotch thing. Ain't that a thing. Wow. Damn. Butlers, purveyors of happiness. Is this gonna cure my depression? Wow, I'm so edgy. I mentioned depression in a video. I'm liking the shiny text. It's like you get a shiny card and the text is also shiny. I know Yu-Gi-Oh do that anyway. I don't know if Pokemon make their text shiny, but... Um, this radical review is also pretty special because uh, it's the first time there's a radical review without any posters on my wall because I'm about to paint my walls. I know I said last time that I was about to paint my walls and I was right because I, I've i already painted the other side of the room. I just have to paint this side now. Um, so that's that. Anyway, let's open it up. It's quite a lot of layers of uh, packaging. So presumably it's like you got the chocolate. Ooh, there's some there's some nice nice big chunks by the looks of it. So two chunks is a euro is what they're valuing this at. Let's open up the golden ticket, my boys, except it's silver. So no uh, Captain Disillusions here, am I right? What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately it is kind of sealed in such a way that you kind of have to rip it. I already ripped off a tiny piece here because it was like it is sticky. The look of the texture of the chocolate so far is kind of like... It kind of looks dirty. Not the most pleasant looking kind of thing, but I reckon it doesn't taste too bad. We'll, we'll give it a C. It's expensive at the moment, but in a few years time chocolate's gonna be a lot more expensive in general. So technically speaking, in um, my old man's future, looking back at this, I'll be like, that was good value for a chocolate nowadays, am I right boys and girls? Haha. <laughs> This, my train of thought is really weird. I, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Time to give it a nice taste. Okay, okay, I really like the almond. If you don't like almond, but someone offers this to you, I'd say still give it a try, because like the almond isn't too prevalent. The most prevalent part is the actual white chocolate itself. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of the salt. It actually goes well. Um, I'm usually not a fan when salt is added to things that don't usually have salt. Like for example, salted licorice. I remember my dad came home with like, Angry Birds salted licorice jellies. And I was like, yay, I like licorice, because I like licorice. And then I ate it and I was like, this is not nice. It's melting quite easily. Probably because the temperature has been relatively high recently in the country. And the salt, I like what it adds to it. It's kind of like a contrast, I guess to the sweetness of it. Yeah, I like it. I wouldn't recommend it based on its price. Honestly, if you're looking for something that tastes like this, the salted almond and butterscotch flavor, it's like, you don't you don't even need that. You can get almost the same experience with a Milky Way bar, except it's got a crunch or whatever, which is, it's not, it's not really necessary. If you're looking for something nice like this, just get a Milky Way bar. It's probably, uh, is it better value? Anyway, so, um, top of the morning to laddies, I'm done. Um... <laughs>